Привет! It's Michael Denner here uh, with another short lecture on the Russian language for students studying Russian at Stetson University. Um, I want to talk today about a phonological phenomenon, a phenomenon that has to do with the way that the Russian language is pronounced, um, and it has to do with consonants, um, and this concept of a voiced and unvoiced consonants. Uh, uh, so, listen, um, in Russian and in English, um, there exist these pairs of consonants that are articulated in every way identically, with one exception. Um, some of the consonants um, are, um, are voiced and some of them are unvoiced. What you have are um, these pairs of consonants that um, we pronounce in every way identically, um, except that um, uh, the, the consonants in this first column here, in the voiced column, um, we pronounce pronounce using our vocal cords. And in the second column, we pronounce these letters exactly the same as the pair, as their, as their, as their mate over here um, in, in, in the corresponding row in this first column. We pronounce these consonants in every way exactly the same as these consonants. Um, but um, these consonants in the second column here, we um, pronounce not using our, our vocal cords. Um, so, so for example, I'll give you um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go through these. Um, so the letter B, um, if you pronounce B and you don't use your vocal cords, you end up pronouncing the letter P, the letter P. Yeah? If, you, if you say V and then say the exact same consonant but don't use your vocal cords, you get F, G, K, D, T, Z, S, R. Now, if you if you, you could try this yourself, um, um, I'll give you a couple seconds. Um, go through all these voiced consonants um, and say them, and then say the exact same consonant. Artic don't don't change your articulation in any way, but um, stop using your vocal cords. And, and and you can tell whether or not you're using your vocal cords by putting your hand up against your Adam's apple. Okay, so I'll give you a couple seconds here, and you can run through there, um, and your roommate will now look at you um, very strangely. Okay, I'm going to assume that you went through this list and um, you um, tried it out yourself and you discovered that indeed um, the voiced consonants and the unvoiced consonants are essentially identical with the exception that voiced consonants are pronounced using your vocal cords and devoiced or unvoiced consonants are pronounced not using your vocal cords. Let me point out that in English, um, we have the same phenomenon. Uh, think about the the word use, the noun, um, when we talk about the uses of technology. That noun, use, we spell it U-S-E. But now think about when we use the exact same word spelled identically, but we have the verb in mind rather than the noun. We, we say use. I like to use my computer. It has many uses. So that's an example in English of, um, uh, of the voicing and devoicing of letters that you can readily identify. I'll give you one other example because it actually has a corresponding um, uh, uh, rule in Russian. If you, look at the, if you think about the word dog and then you pluralize the word dog, you get the word dogs with a very, very distinct z at the end. Um, it's as though the G that is word final in the word dog causes the S uh, that we add when we pluralize the word to turn into a Z. And um, um, uh, uh, that's not true, uh, for example, for the word cat. And when you add the word, when you add S to cat to make it plural, you get cats. Um, you get a regular old S, and that's because the T at the end of the word cat is devoiced, and um, therefore the S remains um, um, devoiced as well. Um, that's just a, I'll, I'll show you the parallel phenomenon, um, the, the second rule that we'll talk about, um, the, the vodka effect, um, um, bears a lot of resemblance to this tendency that we have in English to voice the word final S um, uh, after uh, voiced consonants. So the, the first rule that we have to be aware of that uh, pertains to voiced and unvoiced consonants is the rule called word final devoicing. Um, you, you're familiar uh, with this when um, um, you hear Russian speakers who still have a Russian accent speaking English, and they'll say things like buck instead of bug, um, or they'll say mop 
instead of mob. Um, that's because Russian has a rule which states that all voiced consonants at the end of a word are devoiced. Um, voiced consonants v, z, z, b, g, d get devoiced when they are word final. In other words, um, the voiced uh, consonant gets devoiced to its unvoiced pair. So um, when you find the letter z at the end of a word, it gets pronounced s, z gets pronounced z, and so on, um, uh, um, um, as I've indicated here um, in, 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 this, uh, in this set. Um, let, let's look at some examples. Um, the word in Russian for garage um, uh, is pronounced garage, even though the, it is written garage with this uh, word final voiced consonant. Correct Russian pronunciation is garash because the word final voiced consonant z gets changed when pronounced um, to sh. Another example. Um, the word in Russian for snob is borrowed from English, but they don't say snob. They say snop. Um, the word final voiced consonant B gets devoiced and pronounced as its unvoiced pair P. Uh, one final example. Um, um, uh, in this uh, calc from English um, for the word marketing, um, we have it written with the letter G at the end. The voiced consonant g, but when we pronounce this word correctly, um, we end up saying marketing with a very distinct k sound. Um, once again, uh, we have voiced consonants, v, z, z, b, g, d. Um, all of these get transformed into their unvoiced consonant pair. Um, we have um, another um, uh, an important uh, rule, uh, phonological rule, that pertains to voiced and um, uh, unvoiced consonants. Um, that's, that's called the vodka effect. And we call it the vodka effect because when Russians pronounce the word vodka in Russian, they say vodka. They say a very clear T in the middle of the word, even though the word is written with a D, just as it is in English. Why is that? Um, because there's a rule that when there's a consonant cluster in a word or between words, the final consonant infects the preceding consonants in the cluster. If the cluster final consonant is voiced, all the consonants in the cluster are voiced. If the cluster final consonant is unvoiced, all the consonants in the cluster get devoiced. In other words, they get pronounced as their unvoiced pair. Um, let me give you some examples of the vodka effect. And remember, it goes both directions. Um, sometimes you'll get voiced consonants becoming unvoiced. And sometimes you'll get unvoiced consonants becoming voiced. Um, the first example, look, here we have this word vodka. Um, it's written with a D and a K in the middle, um, uh, uh, but it, when it's pronounced correctly, it's pronounced vodka with a very clear T. Um, here's another one. Um, the word subtitles in Russian, very close to the English word. Um, um, in Russian, um, it's written with a consonant cluster here of a B and a T, and the second or final consonant in the cluster is unvoiced and therefore the entire consonant cluster um, also go, undergoes devoicing and the B is now pronounced as a P. Um, so you get the word subtitri with a very, very distinct unvoiced P in the middle of the word. Um, here's an example uh, of unvoiced consonants getting voiced. Um, the word in Russian for basketball um, is pronounced basketball. Very, very distinct D in the middle of the word, even though it's written with a T. Why is that? Because of the vodka effect, which states that in consonant clusters, the final consonant in the cluster determines the voiced or devoiced status of all other consonants in the cluster. So we get the word basket the bull. I'll give you one last example. Uh, um, we have, we, 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 we've already found this in class several times. Um, when you ask in formal Russian, um, what's your name? You say kak vazavut. Um, it's written kak vas. 
Zavut, but here we have a consonant cluster that um, goes uh, that's between words, but nonetheless um, it still um, undergoes the vodka effect, and the z s in the word vas gets voiced and pronounced as its voiced counterpart, which is of course the letter z, and so very clearly Russians say kak vas zavut. Thank you very much for your attention.